the last significant practice here with a fever, but he's okay. And this is the regular five that they practice with for 14 practices. Bennett under pressure delivers downfield. It's Brock Bowers who goes high to make the catch, and the dogs are threatening in the red zone. He gets vertical, and he holds the safety. Little wheel route with the other tight end, Bowers. Good to see that Dax Hill is there. He did not come down with the team. Reports it was COVID, but number 30, key safety for the Wolverines is in there. On first and goal, Bennett to Bowers. And Brock Bowers scores, and Georgia draws first blood. Look at the top. Watch the safety bite, hesitate, wait, and by the time he reacts, Hawkins cannot get there. Jordan Davis, Outland Trophy winner, weighs about 360 right across from Bestardis, and now McNamara escapes pressure. Very effective scrambler straight up the field and dives for a first down to the 38. And last second adjustments as the play clock winds down, and they give it to Cook, who makes a cut. In the clear, James Cook inside the 30. Mix and match is working very well. McIntosh is going to throw it. Lobs to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Mitchell. Take it to Haskins. McNamara wanted to take a shot downfield. And he'll get swallowed up by the pass rush. Nobody open. Jalen Carter was there. Robert Beal got him. It's Corum Emotions back in in third and 16. He's got the football, but he can't escape N'Kobe Dean. And the All-American linebacker gets the dogs defense off the field. What a play. Well aware of 97's game-wrecking ability. Three tight ends all to the left. And they get it out in the perimeter. Bowers is swallowed up by Hutchinson. Those are two four or future NFL players colliding. Yeah, but Chris, and have a balanced attack. So Hawkins back in the game. Bennett play action on first down. Shows his scrambling ability. Escapes and weaves his way for a big game down to the 26-yard line. Setson Bennett is shifty in space, isn't he? This from 47. And it will get inside that left upright. So Georgia moves it 49 yards. And has scored in all three possessions so far. You continue to stay with all your film study for a month to get ready for Georgia. There's no reason to panic. My but goodness, Jordan Davis showed some quickness for a monstrously huge human being yeah. running down Corum. Dogs bring some pressure. McNamara launching downfield, and it's caught by Roman Wilson. A first downfield shot for the Wolverines, and they're in the red zone attacking downfield one-on-one -on -one with Kendrick and just goes by him. Does a nice job of setting up the route. And can they get seven in the red zone? They fake the reverse, and he swore by Dean. It took too long to develop number 17 in the game. Moody's been a good field goal block team, but Moody gets the ball up very quickly and knocks it through. Look at Hutchison moving inside. Bennett has protection and launches downfield. It's caught by Cook. And he's wrestled down at the 15. The Miami native makes a huge play. You're going to take a shot. You got one on one here, no safety here. And even though it's third down and short, Stetson Bennett with this lead says, Hey, I believe in my guy. If I see a lot. Play clock winding down, end around to Cook, and they track him down, tackle him behind the line. That's a nice play by Jalen Harrell. Question is, which quarterback could could take a risk and make it pay off? And Bennett has done that so far tonight, that yeah. third and three yeah. deep shot. But Lesney from 28. And that would have been a crushing blow. Oh. Wolverines, a block punt right there, as it is Bennett has... 214 to work with here to add to this lead before halftime. Look at McIntosh showing the muscle, the leg drive, pushing Wolverines back with the help of Big Warren Erickson. So it's been a really good first half for the Georgia offense. Bennett backpedals, scrambles, heaves downfield. It's caught. Jermaine Burton scores. Amazing tonight. So the safety goes to the middle of the field, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. 
And there's pressure, but he does a good job of getting up. Watch four. He just, he's kind of gave up on it. Uh, I, I, I just can't figure out why. I don't know if he just lost the football or what it might have been. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He stops. I don't think he expected the ball to be thrown, or maybe he didn't realize it was in the air and he just kind of let up. And Stetson Bennett, somebody's feeling pretty good when we're in 13. Quiet determination is how we would describe his demeanor. And McNamara creates something here to make this deficit less imposing. Four man rush, ball is out, and it's intercepted from bad to worse. Darian Kendrick going backwards to midfield after the pick, but the dogs with their first takeaway and a chance to add to the lead. Maxon is sophomore, thanks, Halleck. They somehow spotted that as a first down. No idea how. McNamara escapes wow. pressure, but not for long. He is hammered from behind by Trayvon Walker. Sounds like what a coach would say down by 24, but his team faces third and long in the first series, and a catch made. That's Eric all the big tight end, and it's the first down of midfield. There's a flag down. 21-yard gain. Bobbled snap by McNamara, but Haskins has room, and he barrels for Michigan's best running play tonight. So a positive start to the third quarter. They're down to the Georgia 31. McNamara launching for the end zone, a jump ball, and it's a second interception from Darian Kendrick. You have to defend all the eligible skill players. George has done a spectacular job of smothering those guys tonight. Corum could not, and lost the ball. It's on the ground, and the Bulldogs have it. So two interceptions, and now a fumble. Devontae Wyatt is on it for Georgia. Bennett gets it out. McIntosh weaves his way for a first down. The backs have been dangerous all year, but I'd include it. To be in obvious passing situations all year, it's tough. McNamara has the ball knocked free. He got it back to avoid a fourth turnover. Nolan Smith knocked it loose. Edwards motions back in. They rush only four. Ball out over the middle, and the catch is made by all the tight end. He's been really their biggest weapon in the pass game tonight. McCarthy launches, and a diving catch as a flag comes up by Donovan Edwards, who well, got deep. Absolutely, uh, physically and mentally, psychologically. On this third and short play, dogs need one. Bennett looking to throw for it under pressure. Hammered, but he lost it out to Cook, who collects it and sprints for a touchdown. What a homecoming night for James Cook. And watch the job that Mitchell does, walling off a defender just to be safe, kind of boxing him out, not letting the other backer, Ross, catch up to him. He worked with the defensive backs. Like, he worked to try to become a more complete linebacker, and obviously it's paid off. And they find the end zone on fourth down. Edwards takes the backwards pass and nowhere to run. It was Dan Jackson there making a play, and there's some jawing going on as once again the Wolverines turn it over on downs. Garthy has a man wide open, and it's caught by Andrew Anthony. Freshman to freshman, and finally, Wolverines find the end zone tonight. Watch the corner come on the pressure. Now you've got a one-on-one -on -one matchup with the receiver against the safety. Anthony goes by him, a little stutter and go. It's like the corner there, Lassiter brought the heat. But just David Daniel kind of looked like he just got lost in space. It looked like he guessed me. Does the book say you're down 35, you go for two? Has some trickery. Henning on the end around, and he scores. But he had help behind, I don't know. But uh, a, a mistake, and give Michigan credit. They take advantage of it, go for two. But it's been lots of misery and heartbreak inflicted on Georgia by Alabama. Not just that game. And busting loose. It's a big run for... Imagine Edwards, the fifth tailback to carry the ball tonight. Manhandling Michigan, dominating them from start to finish and booking 
that revenge tour matchup, they hope, with Alabama and Indy. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.